Hello guys, I am Divakar back with another new cool video and in this video, I will be showing the initial impressions of Oxygen S12 on OnePlus Nord. So without wasting any more for the time, let's get started. First up, the phone comes with Oxygen S12 which is based on Android 12. So we will be getting the all the Android 12 features like privacy dashboard, partial material you design etc. I will be not diving into these features much. Instead, stick to what Oxygen S12 has to offer. As always, I'll try to make this video unique compared to others. I would not recommend, but in case if you like to try Oxygen OS 12 open beta on your phone, then click on this link in the description box below and you'll land on this site. Now, choose your region variant of open beta and download it. Once downloaded, head over to the system updater and click on the gear icon and select the local upgrade option and choose the downloaded package and hit on install. Keep in mind, this process won't wipe your data, but when you wish to switch to stable, then you'll lose all your data. Now that we are done with the installation process, let's see what's new we get with Oxygen OS 12. Talking about the features, now you can turn on both Wi-Fi and hotspot at the same time. This option wasn't enabled before. Now with Oxygen OS 12, you can do that. This option was present on most of the smartphones in the market. This privacy dashboard feature actually lets you know which app has used which sensor, camera, microphone, contacts, call logs, SMS, etc. This handy feature gives full control over privacy. Also, we get the option to turn on and off the camera and microphone access. If you just turn off the access, even system apps can't use camera or microphone. Isn't that amazing? Zing zing. Also, you'll get an alert if any app reads your clipboard data. You have an option of private space where you can hide all your files, images, photos, audios, etc. Now you'll get the one-handed mood and the icon pull down gesture for the better one-hand usage. Simply swipe up over the right or left part of the home screen to reach any of the app on the screen. Not only that, even one-handed mode lets you use your phone more conveniently. And this looks similar to iOS. <laughs> Now we have the option of video color enhancer which converts SDR videos into HDR for better visual experience. Here we have the high performance mode which boosts the system performance and mostly useful while gaming. This also drains the battery faster and heats up the phone. The phone scores 607 in single core and 1753 in multi core in normal mode. Whereas in high performance mode, the phone scores 610 in single core and 1790 in multi core. Though it's a small difference, but okay. Last but not the least, we have the virtual RAM feature where you can use your phone's storage as the virtual RAM. And this can be expanded up to 7GB for the 256GB ROM variant. But 12GB of physical RAM is more than enough for this device. Now let's talk about the changes. Sadly, you won't like most of them. Firstly, the UI. The massive UI change which is now close to ColorOS. The app drawer comes with 4 into 4 layout. We can change it to 5 into 5 which was present in the Oxygen OS 11 by replacing the system launcher with Realme launcher. I have shared the launcher APK in the Telegram discussion group. Join a Telegram discussion group for more tips and tricks for the OnePlus Nord. And also, you don't have an option to access the hidden apps from App Drawer. You need to use phone application and I'll come to that point in a minute. We don't have OnePlus Scout in search option in App Drawer. It is shifted to OnePlus Shelf which can be activated by swiping down from the top right corner. And to be honest, I don't use OnePlus Self. Now, I'll be missing the OnePlus Scout feature. Settings menu is now changed a bit. In Oxygen OS 11 video, I have mentioned that it looks similar to One UI, but this time it's color OS. In Oxygen OS 11, at least we had better one-handed use. Battery page from settings is changed and is better compared to the last one. Now you can track app's battery usage for any particular time and same goes for the storage page. Now screen color is changed so you have to recalibrate according to yours from the settings. To hide apps on Oxygen OS 12, you need to set a passcode which has to start and end with hash and this has to be entered every time in the phone application to view the hidden apps. And once you press the home button and wish to open it from the reason, no, you can't. You actually need to enter this passcode again in the phone application. Many of the users didn't really like this feature. Now we have the all new work life balance and Zen mode 2.0, but most of them actually don't use these features, just some add ons. Now, face unlock or camera access animation around the fan camera is changed and some improvements in camera department. OnePlus gallery is changed to photos, 
and this is similar to realme but not buggy as old oneplus gallery you will be asked at the beginning itself whether you would like to view new photos at the bottom or top you will get many video and photo editing options like eraser etc we have partial material you theming based on wallpaper in google apps after lashing oneplus for the dark mode customizations we have three different levels of dark mode enhanced for less battery drain we also have the option of adaptive contrast for ambient lighting conditions but i saw that there are some changes in true colors so i have turned it off we'll also get an option of flash on call when turned on flash will blink when you receive calls you can set two different ringtones if you use two sim cards now you can add face while screen recording can take partial screenshots by long pressing the three fingers at a time and select the area in settings we'll also get the option of you might be looking for which helps us to adapt to this new ui we have redesigned files application as well as games in games application we have 4d vibration voice changer and performance modes in performance modes we have three different options to switch between low power mode balanced mode and pro gaming mode for better gaming experience and rest all remains the same these were the some of the changes now let's move on to the customizations we'll have the inventive wallpapers option which was present in color os you can get the custom wallpaper from any photo basically it has seven designs of wallpapers which are based on colors of the photo which we have chosen we can customize app icons their style shape also we can use custom icon packs also we'll get the color wheel to choose main theme color we also have the new fingerprint animations and my personal favorite fireworks reminds me of doctor strange we have canvas 2.0 about which i have discussed in the video which i made long back in september 2021 and i have a shared video link in the description box below do check it out we have the theme store for the first time in the oneplus history but sadly no one really liked it also some themes are paid and this would generate some revenue for the oneplus by this we can also try new custom fonts we have the new app animation speeds setting it to fast and the 90 hertz display makes the user experience so smoother no lags no jitters but some guys didn't like this option but many of guys like the new animations personally i loved it this time we get the full control over the haptics and vibrations you can set the vibration and haptic intensity kind of vibration pattern you want when you receive a call you can also sync the vibration according to the ringtone but this is limited to system ringtones The fingerprint animation sound is so satisfying that you'll love it. Newly added game mode in direct at your tuner to have better sound experience while gaming. And finally, new design of notifications. There are plenty of other options and features which we'll be talking about in the review video. Don't worry, I'll also add battery drain, performance, BGM performance, heating, if any bugs or glitches and make a perfect review video. And for that to happen, 100 likes on this video and I'll be making a video on it. Just kidding guys anyways i'm going to make it till then don't rush to update your phone hope you all guys remember the initial days of oxynos 11 just subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon and get notified when the review video uploads on our channel also join our telegram discussion group for news updates regarding oneplus note more than 400 people are waiting to talk to you guys that's it for this video guys bye bye <laughs>